Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! We got our spooky stuff set up. We're ready to get some Halloween decor going. Whoop, whoop! Okay, it looks pretty good. You can see, y'all can see. Yeah. Come on, these. Ooh, even more candles. Since I forgot to do it, oh, we're not on a script anymore, so. Yep. Look at there. Look at there. Spooky. Also, we need is like some kind of. <sighs> we'll have like a seance. I don't or think something. you can. I don't think you have it in you. Look, there, there's so much table showing. Yeah. You gonna fix it? Um, probably not, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <gasps> hey, look, there's Jack and Sally right there. Check it out. Boom. Look. Hey, look, our only follower. There we go. That's good. Right about there. Has it looked, Lori? Yeah. Say hey. Can you Can hear us? Is anybody out there? Oh, look at the glare. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so guess yeah. what? Oh, hey, oh, Michelle. Can y'all hear us? I'm sorry, it's crooked a little bit. Is it crooked? It looks crooked. Yeah. Sorry. We're a little. Is the mantle? Is the mantle? Looks crooked? great. Looks great. Okay. Thanks, Lori. Awesome. Y'all see, our special guest tonight is uh, Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden. Oh. No. Does not have an axe. No. She's not allowed to have an axe. Okay, guys, so we're going to get started. My name is Lizzie, not... Lizzie, not... Not Lizzie. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mess up your hair. Yeah. Okay, I'm Kristen. This is Lizzie and Lance, and we are Designs by K&L. Um, we do home furniture, paint, redesign, and home decor. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so tonight we're going to show you a creepy DIY. You know, so last night we done the fall kind of candles, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so Halloween's my thing, right? That's right. So you can kind of see what we got going on here. Yeah. What I like. He goes overboard. Oh, but I, a bit overboard. I do not go near overboard as I want to. I promise you, <laughs> I am. I have toned this down <laughs> a whole lot. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys can see very well, but here what we got. Um, I've seen these once before. <clears throat> Excuse me. These awesome little candles. You can see them up on the mantle. Here's one, and there's one right over there. Um, they're they're so easy to make. They look so cool. We've got um, little tea lights in there. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make them pretty easy. So, um, what else? That it? Do you want to tell them what they're made out of? Yeah. So um, yeah. Guess what? Toilet so, paper rolls. Yep. Toilet paper rolls. Oh, and um, saved a couple of these too. Paper towel rolls. <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, females in the house, you go through a few of these. Few of those a day. Yeah. Yeah. Or the procedure I went through last week, you go through a couple of these too. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we have some bigger ones that we um, actually, you, oh, I thought um, to use when we get our transfers in, they come in these like tube things. Yeah. Yeah. I got so, some from work. I got like this one here was a, a cardboard tube that was a little bit, uh, it's kind of it's kind of thick and rigid, mm -hmm. and where'd Liz go? I don't know. She, she disappeared. Oh, and check these out. Look at those. Yeah, like that one. Pretty cool. Pretty Is cool. The, 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 do we not ever get comments or whatever? I don't know. They're popping up. They roll through. Okay, so let me plug in. You're so crazy. The hot new. So what you need for this is obviously a hot glue gun. Oh, let me tell you what. Your toilet paper rolls. 
the glue that comes out of this thing is <laughs> really hot. Is it? Well, it should be at 60 yeah, watts. It, it burned my mouth when I tried to get it off my finger because it was really burning my finger really bad. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Look at that super duper. Okay, so -duper. hot glue gun. Oh, another thing you can use out of these is, um, or you make these with, is PVC pipe. If you have um, Lowe's, they'll cut down your PVC pipe to different heights if you want to use PVC pipe. Yeah, but, you know, I went downstairs and tried to find some, and I, th I thought for sure we had some, but, yeah, no. No PVC pipe? Nope. Well, that's okay. These work awesome. Yeah. And I'm going to show you a cool trick because sometimes they get all flat and mushy and everything. I'll show you how to fix that. So, um, I have... Here's here's one for you that doesn't have anything, okay. and then here's one. Come this way, so. <clears throat> so um, I got some scissors and a pencil and some scrap cardboard, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take my <clears throat> toilet paper roll and I'm just gonna draw a circle around it on the cardboard. Is that a circle or a heart, babe? It's like a piece of bread. <laughs> what is that? Not a circle. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't know, kind of. She just likes to touch everything. I'm looking. I'm going to kind of cut around She's where I you. think. Yep, that's what it is. Maybe it was. Yeah, that would be a good one to show. Okay, so if I can, if I can, oh, that's too big. Liz, you're going to have to stop moving a minute. Okay, so if it'll fit down this way, it'll fit this way. So I'm gonna slide it in there a little bit. Fits. Okay, Ooh, it's a Chinese, bad. Chinese. What you gonna call it? Well, like we use. Ooh, from the Adams family. Uh, see. See. Yeah. You could make some Chinese finger. What are they called? Chinese, Chinese handcuffs. Chinese finger finger cuffs. Finger, finger, cuffs? Cuffs. finger cuffs. That would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. Not. Hey guts. Dude says hey guts and then she said no I didn't mean guts to my guy. Hey Mama Do. Hey Mama Do. I'm sorry I missed you last time. Oh wow. Okay, so um as I kind of get this ready this little piece of cardboard that I'm gonna put in here, um I find it hard to make it go down far enough for the candle to go in there. So I'm gonna measure with a pencil on the side of it just like this. I'm going to kind of make a mark right on the inside. I'm going to bring it forth just a little bit. Yeah, okay, bring it on. All right, hang on, guys. We're going to bring the camera a little so closer. Is that good? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. I just want them to be able to see your hand. Yeah. So I'm going to poke the pencil right through the middle of the cardboard. So we're making these really cool candles. These creepy candles. Oh, it's got the light in them. And we're using toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, and the Prima transfers. The the, the cardboard. In yeah, the tubes cardboard. that they come in. We've cut some of them down. And we're going to make some yep. really cool. Yep, so I took a piece of... Scrap piece of cardboard. Got some black ones too. Yep. Okay. Laid the cardboard tube, the toilet paper tube down on the cardboard, cut a circle out, stuck a pencil through it. I got my hot glue gun, my brand new $29.99 from Michaels, 40% off. Today. Look at that bad boy. I know, it's awesome. That's spacious. Mom's going to use that for some of her molds. Boom, boom. Yes. You know what? I wanted to use that on the molds today, but I, I wanted to <gasps> wait. I, no, I wanted to wait on you. You better not use them. Pencil. Shove it down in there. That way I can figure out how far I'm going to put it. <clears throat> Give a little test and see where we at. See, I'm too tall, so I'm going to kind of push it down just a little bit. You're such a genius, babe. Oh, I've worked on this for hours. <laughs> Squirt some glue. Uh-oh. I'm out of bullets. 
<laughs> Load them up. Hey, check this out. What? Oh my gosh, look at those big ass. <coughs> How? Those are awesome. I don't even know if they'll actually fit in there. They're like massive. Yeah, so he actually made these last year. He has um, downstairs in our studio, we have, um, he had made a um, mantle and he cut a little section out of the wall so it looks like a fireplace. So I went downstairs in the studio la this time last year and he had made a bunch of these to go in the um, <clears throat> fake fireplace. Just a two or three. Two or three, yeah. The whole fireplace was covered in them. But it was so cool. I was like, what? Yeah, I don't, I don't he like. Did, he did it without me. It like and it was so fun was, looking. Yeah, it's 30, 30, about 30 of them. 30 of them. Yeah. So, needless to say, I was like, you are going to have to show everybody how to do these one night. And here we are. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I love doing them. They look, look at this one. Show that one. Look how cool that looks. I mean, it looks just like a candle. Mm -hmm. That's how mine can look. And he just sticks that cardboard in there so um, we can, and puts glue around it. That way we can stick the tea light in there. Yeah, see, I've just done this one and I put the glue in there. Boom. Nothing to it. And then now I measured it for the tea candle. It ain't even got to be perfect. Mm -mm. Okay, so now watch this part. I'm going to come a little closer. Go a little closer, babe. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me show you. I got this part. I already got one done for you. I know maybe they can see it. I can do it as they um, are watching because I want you to paint one, right? You want me to paint one? Yes. Okay. Okay, so here's some paint. Here's a brush. You got a brush and some water and some paper towels over there. So just paint the whole thing with the white chalk. Uh, I need you to open it for me. I know, jar of pickles. Here, honey, I, just, <laughs> I know. Thank you, love. Thank you, bad. So I'm just painting it all, right? Yeah. Okay, are you going to show them how to do that while I'm painting? Yeah. Okay. Now? I guess, yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess I can sit back down. Okay, let's see if you can see me. Hey, you know what's a good idea? When can Watch I this. Big blob and pull. I'm gonna make some. Some short, some long. I'm gonna go all the way around, some short, some long. I'm gonna go kind of fast because it's not a big deal. You're not gonna notice it. We can make this quick. It doesn't have to take long time to do. Couple of shorties. Come in between some of them when you get back around there because some of those have dried a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the trigger, big blob, and then pull and drag. Big blob and pull and drag. I like the way you talk, babe. I think that was a bar in Birmingham one time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go. I'm, I'm, then I'm going to do one right around the top part. Right around the top. That's it. Just like that. Let it dry. It's wax, baby. That's what I do. That's what I make the... Brown part with it. We don't want to do the candles So well. since I already had one that was already dry, I can actually do this one. Yes, Mitzi, you can actually do this one. So um, since I had one that the glue was already dried, I just painted it, as you can see, with white chalk paint. So that sucker's going to dry for a minute. <clears throat> Put it over here and let it dry. Yeah. Okay, so... If this was the one you just just done, it was already painted white, and it's dried now. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, I, there's a couple of different ways you can do it to make it look all 
you know, old and antique looking. Mm -hmm. Can they see that? We're really far away, aren't we? I know. Okay, so it's just white with the glue. It looks kind of boring. So there's a couple of different ways we can do. We got, I actually tried this earlier today, the um, Walmart brand truffle chalk paint. Just Waverly brand. Yep. <clears throat> and I actually, I think we started with this because we done a piece of furniture a couple of years ago with the Valispar antique glaze. It's a little bit darker, like um, dark chocolate. Yeah, it's almost like a black glaze, really. Yeah. So if you, um, Dixie Belle even has like a black glaze, yeah. but you can find black glazes if you don't want to go to Lowe's. Yeah, I mean, if we had some Dixie Belle stuff, we'd use it, but this is what I had. And whatever I have that's dark, I'm just showing you that you have a couple of different choices that you can use. Mm -hmm. um, the the glazing compound is, I mean, it's, they're, they're both about the same. They work kind of easy, so. <laughs> Actually, the um, glaze, um, I don't know, they work, they work really easy either way. Yeah. So I'm gonna come up there and show you what we can do. Um, I can do both. Mincy, can you still hear us? Can you hear us? Just want to make sure our microphone is still working. We don't need to groove it anymore, do we? Oh, well, I'm gonna show you. Check this out. You remember, remember this pieces of. Remember those from the pumpkins. Hey guys, can y'all still hear us? Our feed is not scrolling, so if you can hear us, just uh, hit a like or a love or something. Can hear. Okay, good. Thanks, just Lord. making sure. Okay, so if you remember that, um, I mean, you don't necessarily have to have uh, toilet paper rolls. I mean, just kind of be creative with it. You don't need everything to make these out of it. You don't actually have to have the tea candles. The reason why I use it. Yes, the rust patina would be awesome. Yes. Yes. We haven't bought any of the patina line yet, but um, it's definitely on our list. Yes. Um, the uh, tea candles actually kind of fit in the toilet paper rolls. That's why we use the toilet paper rolls. But um, if you remember when we done... That and they're cheap. Oh, yeah. They're cheap. They're free. Yeah, they actually happen to be in the house. But uh, we used some pieces of sticks out of the yard the other day for some pumpkin... And uh, here's one of them that I done. <gasps> yeah, see? Look at you! Piece of stick. I mean, you can use anything. Look at right? you! Right, so there's what it looks like right there. So so you could put those in as fillers. Like if you wanted a big uh, place setting or something, you could use those as fillers. And then you'd have these with the tea light candles in it. Yeah. That's Absolutely. pretty cool. Yep. Okay, so let me, um, let me show you what it. I'm going to do. Let me get the, where's my brush? Was this your brush? I had one there? somewhere. Yeah, I gave you mine. Yeah. Dry it off for me. Yeah. I'm going to need a, a paper towel. Okay. In a minute. Okay, so, it, I mean, either one of these work really good. I mean, even just brown paint works okay. I, I need to make these for my Halloween display. The, Candles won't blow out. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Um, she mentioned earlier that um, we have a fireplace, a faux or a fake fireplace downstairs. I, I bet I have about twenty-five of these down there, and I love to um, light them all up, and it looks kind of spooky looking. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, I made a, a mantle and everything. Okay, so watch this. This is kind of cool. So I'm just gonna. It's, it's only painted with white, and you can see, if you look close enough, you can see. You gotta tilt it a little bit. There you go. I don't know, you, you may can see where the um, spirals are that's in the cardboard still. And you can see the hot glue. All right, watch this. I'm telling you, it's no secret. I'm just gonna paint it. Just paint it on. Really quick. 
Quick and easy. Okay, I need a paper towel, please. Thank paper you. Paper towel? Scalpel? Yep. And scalpel? Here we go. And look how messy. Ew. Look yeah. So messy. It doesn't matter. Watch this. Just go up and down. Dragging that paint or stain all the way down. Making it kind of drippy looking. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Watch. <laughs> I know it did cool. Wow. Look at there, babe. Yep. How awesome is that? Now you need to make about 25 more so we can put it in our upstairs fireplace. Oh, I'm there. I made them today. Thank <gasps> you. Yeah. You made some today? Yeah. Upstairs? Oh, uh, my. Mm. He took some vacation day, so while I'm doing the eight to five, he's been at home playing and painting and having the fun. Mm -hmm. Such a nerd. Such a Look, I gotta just let it dry. Mm -hmm. Just let it dry. That's awesome. Now I imagine the red and the black's a little bit more tedious. Do you do the <clears throat> paint the red first and then come back? No, actually, um, these are a whole lot easier than you think they are. And so I, I did the same thing except for the white. I painted black. Mhm. Mm yes. <laughs> and then uh, I have actually tried this one with bunches of different colors of red and different name brands of red ink or paint. <coughs> See how good, look, look how good that red looks. I like that red. What red did you use? That is Dixie Bell Barn. Oh, sweet. The red barn? Yes. That is pretty. And I have, after after doing these all these years, I have not had one to do this good before because it only takes one little coat. So you and just they use look, a regular little small paintbrush? Yes, yeah, small paintbrush. I didn't even try to get it like really close in there. Where's the bigger one? There. So let me show you. You can look really close. It's not perfect on there. Just took my my brush and just kind of stuck it on top and drug it across there. Big blob of paint on the end and drug it across there. It didn't even matter if I got it on the cardboard. Look at that one. Oh, I like it. That one's not even got any glue on it. But it looks so you realistic. Can't, you can't see it. Look at that. It's, oh, let me show you one more thing. Like you went blue. I for almost forgot. So when when you do the um, the uh, uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. making a mask bag. Uh, the paper towel rolls. Mm -hmm. um, you know that that's a little too tall, but you could cut it into two pieces. But there's no sense in cutting it in half. You want a, a shorter one and a longer one. Mm -hmm. So what I've done earlier today, which one do you got? Um, that one's mine, I think. Right. Isn't that the I think one this you is just the other. put over there? Oh, that was yours. This is the other section. Okay, so when I, when I took a, a paper towel roll, I didn't want to cut it just straight across. I just kind of cut it, I flattened it and cut it this way. Oh, so it gives it a, oh, I see. I think this one was it. Yeah, there we go. So how it gives it the imperfection. So instead of cutting it straight across, do it at that angle. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So cool. Where's the, there was a really, there was a better one over here, but. Anyway, I don't say I may have left it downstairs, but you know how sometimes candles will melt on one end. Well, here's one. Here's a real one right here. It's already kind of melted down on one side. Uh, anyway, but Hang on my dress. That's, what I get. that's what I got. Is that what you got? So what do y'all think? Is this something easy that y'all think y'all would like doing? 
Um, I think it's pretty awesome. I like it. Uh, He's so talented. Let's give him a hand. Well, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think when you sometimes see these horror movies, you know, I'm I'm already a, a horror movie fan and I'm kind of a macabre person anyway, but when you see some of the videos and some of the movies, you see a whole lot of candles. Um, uh, it's just kind of creepy and I like the kind of creepy thing. So, um, it didn't take me long. I probably did. I probably made about 20 of them today. <laughs> so fun. Yeah. I love them. And then, of course, the... Um, the little tea lights, you can pick them up at Walmart or, um, I think some of these came from the Dollar Tree. So it's fairly inexpensive. Um, I mean, I mean, we're talking about a craft that's like less than five bucks, if that. Oh, yeah. Lizzie wants to show you her work of art. <laughs> you show it. You go, girl. This is mine. Yeah. You did good. Yeah. You didn't get it all over yourself. Yeah. Look at that. Look Very at that. cool. Okay, guys. If we don't have any questions, I guess we are going to um, say goodnight. Please show us love. You know what to do. Um, and then don't forget at the, if you do, I'm just going to say it. If you do share our video, please. <sighs> Um, then at the end of the month, we are going to put your name in a drawing. Uh, just and don't tell anybody who said that. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> um, contest. for a contest. I think I can actually write it out. But yeah, anyway. are they winning? Probably are breaking winning. the rules, breaking the rules. Probably Anyways, winning. guys, we love you. Looks good, Lizzie, Mitzi says. Thank you. Thanks, Missy. Hey, Alan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's probably oh. already in the bed. Okay, well, yeah. yeah, he's in bed. But, hey, I'm off tomorrow if he wants to do the um, first aid kit. Shoot, yeah. I'll come over and hang out. Yeah, the first aid kit. <laughs> okay, guys, so um, tomorrow, catch us. I don't know what time. It might be a little early because Lizzie's got a Girl Scout thing, so we might actually do it earlier than normal. But um, keep a watch on us, and we love you guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.